All right, good morning, good morning. Hope everyone's doing well. Got a lot of, a lot of action today. Uh, Caterpillar's gapping up, so it may have some continuation in it. Anything uh, up above this pre-market 166.93 can be in play. Yeah, we do have a nice pullback, so stock could push up at the open. Also, uh, Edison International EIX is looking great. Just need a little pullback as well. Buyer step in. If Mark can hold this trend line, we'll take a play up above yesterday's resistance. Uh, can, C-A-N-N. -N. Anything up above 10, I'll be a buyer. The latest blockchain open or IPO, LBCC, pre-market is 668. This right here was the uh, open price for the IPO on Friday. So if it can break above the 615, increase volume, take a play, there goes the bell. And lastly, a symmetrical triangle on target. Target gapped up overnight. We got a triangle formation, a little liquid liquidation and within the next one to five minutes. Stock can bounce off this trend, break above 70. I'll take a play in uh, Target. There's Mark. So it looks like that trend line held on Mark. I'm grab a small piece right here, 1331. I put my stop right here at this trend line. So I'm long mark at 1330. Was it 1337? Alright, so I'm gonna grab a this PTIE the 682. tight stop on that mark so if it comes back hits that trend line I'm definitely gonna be out looks like that's about to happen so flatten out a mark small loss 480 loss on mark we get a pullback in GILD We'll take a play in that. It looks good. There's P PTIE. So it's got a thousand shares of it. Let me sell 500 shares of this PTIE. See if I can get this 730. High, so I missed that entry. Here was the pullback. Boom, there's your entry. GILD. So I just have to wait for the first five minutes set up on GILD. All right, so I'm gonna sell half of this PTIE right here, 704. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stop up to break even, 682. Got a bunch of dojis lining up. So it's gonna break one way, one way or the other, either up or down. So if it breaks down, it will hit my stop, and that'll be it. If it breaks up, I'll let the last 500 ride. All right, that's it. That's it for PTIE. So 90 bucks on that. Let me see, it may be a better setup. So let this five, five minute bar close. Could get a flag set up. Let me move some of these lines. Move lines. And I'm gonna grab some LBCC. Break back through the open. The open was 596. Stock broke back through the open right here. So I'm long at 611.
3,000 shares on LBCC. So I'm gonna grab some Gilead right here, 755.55. Got a nice pullback. Stock now bouncing, got volume increasing. Some long is 75.53. There's Gilead, the 7568. So it's looking nice. Let's let it run. Gilead making new highs. So we'll get a full point on that. I'll close it out. And stop for LBCCs right at 575. So I'm taking a loss right now on this. I'm long from 611. LBCC continue to fall, so this is has turned into a resistance area. This IPO IPO opened on Friday and has not broke back above this 617. It is looking great, 75.95. It's holding up nicely. So if PTIE can break above this trend line, we'll increase volume, break out of this little triangle to the upside, that will be a play. LBC still hanging out in between my stop and my entry and Gilead's looking good long Gilead from 75.53 so I'll just continue to hold that probably getting a five minute pullback stock has ran up pretty far Boom, there's LBCC, finally. It took a while, but it's finally moving. 6.30 and at 6.11. Boom, I'll sell 1,500. Matter of fact, I'll just sell 1,000 up there at 6.50. Xnet just popped as well. Grab some of this XNet. And I'm going to sell a thousand shares of LBCC at six. Let's see where it's going to stop. XNet 2123. Let me move this up here. Some long X net from 2115. So I'm gonna let a thousand go with this LBCC right here, 638. 2000 left, only bought a thousand X net. Long at 2115. Stop is at break even for this uh, last 2,000 shares of LBCC to 611. All right, I'm gonna sell half of XNet at 2148. Got 500 shares left. Go ahead and buy a thousand shares of PTIE. I 
like this uh, breakout. Break out of the triangle or flag pattern. Nice, nice, nice. X net, nice. LB, I mean, PTIE, nice. Long at 726. Gilly is still looking good. Nets looking great. Let it run. So we got our little, we got our flagpole right here. Symmetrical triangle or flag, just one you want to call it. Pretty much gonna do the same thing, which is break out one way or the other. And take the trade. That's it. So I'm gonna sell another 250 of X net. PTIE is 655, but let me go ahead and sell a thousand. I'm long at 726. So a thousand up here at 805. Stop is now break even. But yet I'll move it to even 777. Move to 762. Let's move to 762. The lows that it created did not make lower lows, it made higher lows. So with that said, you're just looking for the stock to break out. Let me flatten out of this LBI LBCC. So now that LBCC 220 on it. Stock fell back, hit my stop, so I'm no longer in that. Uh, PTIE, like I said, it fell back, it did not create lower lows. So now you're just waiting for the stock to break out of the triangle with increased volume, and boom, right here, there you got it. It broke out, even though I didn't, I didn't catch it till 7:26. I still got it, you know, I still got a pretty decent entry on it. Still holding Gilead. And hold an X net. Long X net at 21.15. I'll move my stop up to 21.43. Looks like PTIE just been halted. I got a thousand shares left. So when it opens, it will probably push high a quick second or two then possibly pull back so I'm gonna leave my stop where it's at 760 so the trade I took on mark didn't work out that was a loss for the day uh, what 480 on mark M-A-R-K Looking pretty, looking good on XNet, looking good on PTIE, looking good on Gilead. All right, so that's it at XNet, 300 on it. Stock fell back, hit my stock. So that's all she wrote on it. Gilead. It's looking nice. I may add to that tree. Let me see. Add uh, 7596. So I'm going to add 500 shares to Gilead. So now my new cost basis is 7577. Give this up to 76. First target is right here, 76.25, which was some previous, I guess, resistance back in December, I think. Uh, what was that? Yeah, back 
back in December. Pretty much had the same setup now on Gilead that we had on PTIE. Stock pushed higher. Pull up for five minutes. Stock pushed higher, then pulled back a little bit, found an area of support, then broke out of the triangle. It's the same setup we got over here on Gilead. Stock pushed higher, fell back a little bit, and then it broke out of this triangle. What you're looking for when price breaks you're looking for volume to spike you got your volume spike there's your entry above this uh, previous low stocks should continue to go higher there's PTIA so I'm gonna sell 500 up there at 8 838 so I got 500 left That was a nice open, very nice open. Go ahead and sell 250 up there at nine, 906 with 250 left. And I will put my stop roughly right here. So another hundred. Nine twenty. So I filled at nine nineteen. So now I have one hundred and fifty left on PTIE. Gilly is looking great. My stop is at eight thirty one. Stops at 870 on PTIE. Gilead just hit a new high, 76.11. So I got a thousand shares from 75.77 on Gilead. Now, if this stock holds up, I'll tell you what, I will get back in this trade. If this stock holds up. PTIE can break this trend with increased volume. I actually would take another trade on this stock. I mean, not another trade, but I'll add to this uh, position. And that looks like what it's about to do. So about 2,000 more shares at nine, what did I get for that? 926, 921. Go ahead and sell 1500 up there at 950. I filled at 940. Gilly at 7616, which is great. All right, and I'm gonna flatten out of this PTIE. So that's it. That's it for me for PTIE. A little over 2100 on it. It's a good trade, good trace, uh, good setup. Stock broke out of the flag, got halted, and then pushed higher. So here's your flag setup. Boom, stock breaks out, runs higher, gets halted right here, opens up, opens up higher. So that's that. And let me move this stop up for Gilead. What's this? 7596. Uh, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and flatten out a Gilead. Right, so 200 on Gilead. So that's it. That's it. That's it. So Mark was the loser. Thought this trend line 
it would hold up from yesterday. Took a long, what did I get in? I think I took a long, took a long position right here on Mark. Stock then fell back, hit this trend line and I stopped out. So that was a losing trade for the day, 480 on it. Uh, just stick with it, be patient, take a little bit of profit off. That'll take some of your nerves off. You know, eliminate, your, eliminate some of your risks. It actually will help you emotionally. You know, you're gonna be you're gonna be so wound up about a particular stock. But enjoy it. Enjoy your trading. Enjoy the losers just as much as you enjoy the winners. You know, I, I really do enjoy this mark trade because what I told myself before the market is as long as this trend line holds up, stick with the trade. As soon as the trend line is broken, I need to break. As soon as the trend line breaks, I need to get out. And that's exactly what I did. Got in above this trend line, stock bounced up, boom, fell back, got out. Glad I got out. You know, it could have been a terrible loss. So enjoy your losers just as much as you enjoy your winners. I am the Bearded Trader. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need, but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Love with action and in truth, not with words or speech. Y'all have a great day trading.